Hey yo, real quick before the video starts, please go follow my Instagram. Boy, as you guys know, this channel definitely um started off as like an Apex clip dump channel. So basically, I was taking all my clips from console and I was like, well shoot, I don't got no space on my Xbox and I'm not trying to buy me a terabyte of space. And so I just decided I'll take all the clips and I'll dump them onto this YouTube channel. But Apex really went stale. It died. I still love Apex. I would play it. I think I'm going to stream it next week. I haven't played in like two weeks. But overall, um, yeah, Apex died. But I discovered COD Mobile. And honestly, <laughs> it's hard to respect um, a mobile game. But... If you know a little bit about me, then you know I used to play PUBG Mobile competitively. Like, the scene was pretty small. It was just, like, lights out. I was in a um, clan called FR. Um, basically, what I'm trying to say is COD Mobile is fucking amazing. Honestly, how, how is it so good? Um, Tim the Tapman even acknowledged that, like, two days ago. And it's odd because, like, it's quite the coincidence or coincidence, you know? Two days ago, he started, he made a video talking about, like, COD Mobile is the best COD. And then, that's the day that I had down re-downloaded it after, like, a year of not playing. And honestly, it really is the best COD. I know, it's, it's so weird. Like, why do we hold a mobile game in such high regard? Overall, mobile games are not super respectable. But you do have to understand one thing. Out of all of the Call of Duties, this COD has done the most to, like, include, recreate, and just give you that genuine COD feeling. And then not only that, it's, it's like, when you're playing a mobile game, you realize a lot of the time that there's no skill required. So you'll see people playing idle games, which is a game that you can play without being there. For example, Rukoi Online. I'm training right now. Just AFK training. You're not really playing that game. And even if you were going to say you're playing it, look, there's only really six buttons. And on the right side of the screen, you don't do anything with those buttons. So there's really only one input. And the game automatically does things for you. And so what I'm trying to say is that really the only mobile games that you can say require skill are mobile games that are Sims. So a simulation, first person shooters, first person games. It's a simulation because you're in control of every single action and there's more inputs than typical. And so, you know, the UI is pretty dope on the new COD. They're, they're making a, a, a war zone for COD Mobile. It's kind of silly in my opinion because <clears throat> there's already a BR. They should have just made the BR into Warzone Mobile. Honestly, I never really hold mobile gaming in a high regard, but COD Mobile is pretty fun. You guys should try it out. My skill ceiling is pretty low, and the skill cap is still pretty low. But overall, it, it takes more out of you than your typical Candy Crush Temple Run. I've always been the type of guy who needs high octane gameplay because my brain just moves at like a mile a minute. And so I need something to really be like intense or or draining or take something out of me. And of course, I don't really get take it seriously. You know, I could get mad at Apex, but if I lose a match of COD, really, I'll just be like, oh, these guys are idiots. And then maybe I'll leave early or something, but... Overall, you don't get super triggered. It's pretty chill. If you're any good at first-person shooters on console, not even just Call of Duty, just any good, then you'll easily be able to translate your skill. And honestly, you guys should check it out. It's made by Tencent Games, the same company that made PUBG Mobile. PUBG Mobile went to shit recently. You can literally go 10 minutes waiting for a match and then you get a match that doesn't even last 10 minutes. And so, I'm not really into, um, I used to love it, but 
recently I tried it. I was looking at a bunch of first person shooters on um, mobile. And honestly, the only good one left is COD. I even went back to, um, not Counter-Strike, but uh, Standoff. I went to Standoff 2. And it's like, bro, why are games taking away the ability to customize your controls? It doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, if you're going to add a little bit of customization, then you should just allow us to do whatever the fuck we want to do with the interface. You know, I don't run claw. I'm just running default controls and my settings are relatively simple. Um, What do you guys think? Do you want to see more COD mobile content? Honestly, I, I like it, but I've never really uploaded it, so I can't tell if it's going to get any views. What do you guys want to see on this channel? I mean, let's be real. There's not really that many concurrent viewers, so I could pretty much upload whatever I want. But with that being said, leave a like and subscribe. Uh, peace out.